Hey guys, today's video is going to be about how do I start day trading or forex trading in 2023. <laughs> say personally is education 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 before you want to attempt anything in life whether you want to become a doctor engineer anything what do you do beforehand you educate yourself if you want to start doing wood furniture you educate yourself on doing it so the first thing you need to do is education find some good education work through it so let's quickly go to the market and actually understand what education means Hey guys, so educating yourself. So it's very, very good to either learn through YouTube, through courses. Um, in 2023, we have so much opportunities actually for us to learn different trading styles, um, different traders' strategies, if you want to put it that way as well. Um, if you look at the first link in the bio as well, just click there, open an account, then you send it to me and you guys can also get both these books written by me. You guys will see all my names are in um, the, the documents as well, Forex and Indices. So that's a pretty good way to, to start as well. Um, and the reason you need to educate yourself is the market runs in patterns. I always say price always repeats itself. The reason we can actually trade Forex is the fact that the market repeats itself. Just like me and you looking at this audio SD chart, there's guys with billions of dollars looking at the same chart. And they also need to decide, um, am I going to buy this? Am I going to sell this? And as soon as you start figuring out price movements and how does price move, where does price pull back to, where does price sell from, where does price buy from, that's obviously when things start getting easier. So you need to understand that every single person will have a different way of seeing the market, interpreting the market, and obviously trading the market. So what works for me might not work for you. A lot of guys will look at my content and think, yes, this is amazing. Um, this will help me with my trading, with breakthroughs, whatever. Then a lot of people will look at my content and just think, well, I don't understand what this guy is saying. I don't understand his trading style. And that's all fine. Then you need to find someone that you relate to. So the market actually works in different ways. It works in patterns. It works in... Um, sideways market, it runs in trains. So, so many different technicals lining up. So the reason we are able to, to trade the market is the fact that there's so many different things that we can use or tools um, to obviously create the strategy that you call it um, to trade the market. So if we look at this cell over here, okay? When price moved up from here, I'm gonna explain this technicals in different videos, but just that pullback over there, we can have a support. So that's one technical. We have a psychological level of 068750. So that's another technical. Um, we most probably have a FIB, extended FIB, 1618, extended FIB as well. So there's so many different technicals that will indicate price pulling back from there. Then over there with the breakout, we have that resistance. We have um, that trend line breakout, we have that resistance, we have the psychological level of 250. So there's so many different things that will tell us that price is going to buy or sell from there. But the most incredible thing is if we have analysis in or not, price will still sell. That's why you don't need all these technicals and EMAs and things running all across your screen. You can get to a point where you can actually just look at the market and know, okay, well, price is not going to buy there on Monday. We're going to keep selling because of this or this or this. That's where the trading mindset comes in. So very important to educate yourself on the market before looking to trade. If you don't know why market is going up or down, there's no reason in trading whatsoever. Number two is for me, practice, 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 practice. Open a demo account, practice, practice, practice. Obviously, there's a big difference between a demo and a live account. Demo account, no emotion. So you tend to obviously trade better. Live account is obviously where you're actually learning the market and actually learn how to make mistakes, how to manage your emotions while trading. So every time you take a loss, it will open up to a new emotion, maybe over trading or something in that line. So it's very, very important to practice first. And let me quickly show you guys a few things you can actually do to practice and make sure that you obviously sharpen up. And obviously make sure that you don't, where you learn out of your losses that you take, but also learn out of your winning trades.
Okay, so practice, practice, practice. Okay, after you've educated yourself and you have somewhat of a strategy or a trading style or something like that. Let's say, for example, you're a long-term trader, so you go mostly to the daily time frame. So now the key thing is practicing. How do you practice if the market only trades five days a week? So there's one, two, three, four, five. Um, so from there, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. So now you only have that data to work with for a week's um, basis. So the one way you can practice is, well, there's two ways you can actually practice. Number one, backtesting. Um, so I'm going to do a full video on backtesting, how to backtest later on as well. But for me, if you're trading on the daily time frame, mark off all the selling and buying points. Sakeable price, buys there, sells there, buys there, sells there. Um, so you basically mark all of them off and then you go and practice with your strategy saying that, okay, well, if price bought from there, why did price buy from there? Then you're basically putting your technical. So let's say it's a psychological level. Then you've got to put in 0, 0700. 0, 0. Okay, perfect. That's why price bought from there. Now you can add your trend line, for example, add a trend line saying, well, there's a trend line that lined up. That's why price bought. So you're basically backtesting your strategy and figuring out why that price buy certain from certain places. Um, we can see we were in an uptrend. Price broke structure to top side, had a pullback and a buy continuation. So now all of a sudden price starts dropping, big bearish candle closing below, breaking structure now to the downside. So at this point, we knew we had that level. So now we can already see okay, what, did, what made that chart buy from there. So there we can see, once again, there's spinning tops. So study the different candlesticks. So practicing on the back end of the market. It's so, so important because the market always ends up repeating itself. So now we can see there's a hangman candle on the bottom of a trend, bullish engulfing for the pullback. Now we have a hangman candle on top of a trend, plus resistance, plus the 0 07 um, level. That will probably be a 61 FIB, um, 61 FIB level as well. Not completely, just missing it out. Um, so basically just adding certain technicals. There's a morning star candles and then the pullback to the selling level. So you have to backtest. Number two is forecasting. So we have this great tool on, on, um, on trading view that says publish. Okay, so let's quickly get into to this. So let's say, for example, you see, okay, well, there's some spinning bottoms on the OGSD um, thing. For me personally, what I see is, is that, okay, I see us going into a sideways market, for example. So we are currently trading within this, this block. So when I started trading, I used to do this every single day. Well, I'll forecast what's going to happen. So now I can see, well, there's a perfect evening star formation. So then I'll take this tool over here, if I can find it, the path. Okay, so then I'll figure out, okay, well, price is going to break lower because we're in a selling trend. Then we're going to pull back, never going to pull back to there because that's where everyone sees the market pulling back to, always going to pull back higher to psychological level of 166, for example. And then we're going to have the sell-off. So then I'll mark that off and then I'll hit publish. Okay, then it says publish, publish idea. Then you type in odd USD. If you really want to become successful, you need to actually say, well, pull back to 61% FIB, um, zero, I'm just typing quickly, guys, 0 0.66 um, psychological level. So you need to actually do all those things. And then you hit publish private idea. I put my stuff on private, obviously, um, just to keep it for myself. Sometimes I test a lot of things out and I don't want it to be, be public. So now you actually have this data that's basically going to forecast it. So if you come back on the next Saturday or Sunday, then you can actually play it out and see if you were wrong or right. If you if this thing now bought all the way from that level all the way up, then you can go and figure out now again why did it buy. And you can actually taste on what your losses and your profits. If it went your way, perfect. Look how it sold. Look at the candlesticks. Look at all those different things. And if you, you lose, obviously, go and figure out why did you see the market that that keeps selling? And it might be because 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 is the highest probability touch. So this thing might just have another leg to the top side and then only sell from that level. So many different things um, you can actually use this tool for. Number three for me is actually an obvious one. It's finding consistency. Number three is not making a million rand or anything. 
a lot of people start day trading or forex trading and then all of a sudden they want to make a million they want to make 100,000 rand a day they want to make 100% returns on their, their investment for me it's first find consistency once you can find consistency it just becomes a scale so if you can take $100 you make 10% a month for six months consistently um, I can't say you can do it on a bigger account but obviously you can educate your psychology and strengthen your psychology to get to that point so let's quickly look at the powerful thing of consistency within the forex markets okay guys consistency so let's say you start with a hundred dollar account okay you need to learn to become consistent on this account if you're trading a hundred dollars it's obviously not a big amount of money and you're obviously not going to become the next up and coming trader with a hundred dollar account so let's say you risk one percent which is one dollar really impossible to do um so let's up it up to let's say three hundred dollars okay three hundred dollars a good starting point as well so let's say now you're risking one percent per trade very important every time let's look at this trade quickly every time you risk one percent you need to make a minimum of three percent to be profitable in the long run if you're not making three percent every time you risk one percent you will you won't be profitable in the long run so now we can see that was a perfect one to four risk reward trade um if it goes where it should go monday um so every time you risk three dollars you need to make at least nine dollars this is literally for me the most important thing in trading and i'm going to say it a lot of times as well going through the content so now if we look at that if we keep making nine dollars so let's say we have 10 trades and we win six trades and we lose four trades obviously you're going to take losses no one has a perfect success rate the six trade trades we win is six times nine which is 81 if i'm correct 9 18 27 36 45 54 and then 63 so 63 i was really incorrect over there um you don't need to be good in math to be a good trader and then four is nine eighteen twenty seven thirty six thirty six dollars losses okay so even though we lost most of the trades we still end up being profitable so on this scale now we made four twenty four plus three twenty seven dollars in profit so let me quickly just duplicate this and say okay well we are up for the week twenty seven dollars so our starting balance for next week is going to be three to seven so now it's obviously just about upping your risk time and time again if you get to a point where you're trading six dollars six hundred dollars then obviously you're going to make a little bit more if you become more consistent then obviously now you can risk nine dollars and then you're making 27 dollars. so then you're going to be making 30 percent on your account so it's all about learning to become become consistent first and then obviously you can up your game even on a $300 account, if you're risking $9 and you're making $27 and three good trades and you are up 30% on your account. So it's really about focusing on just hitting one cent trades. It's not about the money in the beginning. It's about becoming consistent. And then from there, it's about scaling up your positions. Okay, well, once again, after consistency, it's <laughs> the one thing that I always say is keep learning. Um, I've been trading for over seven years this year, and I mean, I still learn new things every single day. That's for me, the beauty personally about the Forex market is that I can always learn. I love learning from people. I love learning new things. So that's why I love Forex mostly is that I keep, keep learning all the times. Um, so you're going to make mistakes. You're going to get to a point where you wake up one day um, after being yeah, successful, let's say, for seven months. You're going to look at the charts and it's just going to be like you don't know where the market's going. You don't understand what's happening in the market. And that's mostly to do with your psychology. Um, so the market is a very psychological game. So for us, if we're going through a bad time, that will obviously affect our trading. If we're busy experiencing some financial issues that will obviously always um, go have a big effect on our trading as well so working on, on your psychology at all times throughout the market and keeping your tools obviously sharp sharp and at all times is is the one thing that's going to not only get you in the game but keep you in the game so if you're a consistent trader the the only thing left to do is keeping that consistency by training your brain working out building good habits outside trading 
and then obviously keep keep learning never walk into a room where you think you're the best trader you're the <laughs> there's always going to be a guy that knows something that you don't do and obviously the market is forever changing um the market is sometimes trending the market is sometimes going sideways the market is sometimes crashing like 2022 and you need to learn in all ways how to obviously work around it and how to capitalize on every single opportunity within the market Okay, so now you're consistent um, and obviously you're going to have about managing consistent. How do you stay consistent? Um, a lot of traders like myself, I mean, 2020, I lost over 10 million rand almost. I ended up losing 2.2 million rand on paper. So it was a big psychological thing for me. So the way I had to get back is training my mind to be stronger and learning to be tough in certain situations. The reason it's so important to train your mind outside trading is trading is the 1%. The 1% is the guys that is taking control of the Forex market. So the guys that's sitting in your banks, your hedge funds, etc. They are part of the 1% in the world and they are controlling the market. So you need, you need to think how the 1% is thinking. So if you, for example, go and look at the thing called psychological level. Okay. So let's say 250. Why psychological level is important? This is just a, a, a quick example for us. I'm not going to put it out. It's not working now. But why psychological level is so important to us? Okay, because we as humans don't see round numbers. If we go and buy a bread, we're going to see 60.99. I don't know what it costs <laughs> at the moment, but it's just an example. So we see 60.99. So our brains are so zoned in, in seeing uneven numbers. Petrol, everything we see is uneven numbers. So what does the market now do? The market just goes and just, works around it and say well most people is anyway not going to see the round numbers so let's work with round numbers because the one percent sees round numbers because they don't look at the thing they just know it's not 69.5 you're even anyway going to pay 17 so it's going to be 17. so it's just the world and the system messing with our psychology and if you can beat that psychology and beat that system that's obviously helping you with profitability then working out, it's not about the working out. It's not a be about being the biggest guy in the gym or um, the fastest runner in the gym. It's about having consistently good habits because the market is consistent. Price sold from there, price sold from there. Let's go to the weekly time frame, okay? And let's see price sold from there, okay? If you look back, price sold from there, price sold from there. So we have the same range where price is selling from since 2020. And we can even go back, guys. We can literally go back into the 90s and we're still going to find different things. Look at how price is buying from that level in 2004. So the market forms consistent things. And through that, you need to build consistent habits for you to learn to become a, a successful and a full-time trader. So for me, very important to always stay up with your game. I don't read books. I wish I could read books. It's a very good way, obviously, to, to work forward as well. But you need to learn to become consistent outside the trading market to become consistent inside the trading market. Obviously, we're trading for time and we don't want to be in a routine again. You don't need to be in a routine. It's all just about being good um, in, in this, the habits that you have around you and the people around you. If you have negative people around you, you're always going to be negative in the market. That's one thing I've learned a lot. You need to surround yourself with positive people, people that think different, and people that, that obviously sees the bigger picture and the, the picture that not a lot of people obviously see throughout that as well. Thank you for watching, guys, and thank you for always supporting. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Obviously, it helps me a lot. I do a lot of effort into these videos, and I put a lot of time in, into to this video to obviously help you guys and educate you guys as well. Um, I am doing free courses this year, the whole year. So just check in my bio, just fill in your details. It's not, I mean, we're not going to spam you or anything. It's legit a full free course from myself, from what is Forex, all the way through to creating your own trading strategies and multiple trading strategies in it as well. Join my community below as well. I share a lot of market updates on there, a lot of trading things that can help you. Thanks for watching.